Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 10. New tonight, a Valley man says he's been charged too much for his property taxes. He says a mistake was made by the Hidalgo County Appraisal District. Regardless, a tax bill has added up over the years. Channel 5's Trayson Bragg spoke to the chief appraiser to find out how the matter can be resolved. Trayson. The Edinburgh man tells us he's refusing to pay his property taxes for the years the taxes were incorrect. He says he's he'll pay up when his taxes are correctly adjusted. We learn this may not be the best way to protest your property taxes. Pablo Trevino bought this Edinburgh property in 1983. He says the property brings him a sense of pride and accomplishment, a gift not only for him and his wife to enjoy, but also future Trevinos. Well, it's for my grandsons, my, my sons, you know, my daughter. He says over the years he felt the property taxes were too high. In 2010, after receiving some paperwork from the Hidalgo County Appraisal District, he learned his suspicions were correct. Well, they were charging me too much tax on property on buildings because they were the right size. A building that wasn't there no more. He says the paperwork showed he was being charged for approximately 3,783 more square feet of building than he actually owned. Trevino tells us he brought the mistake to the attention of the appraisal district that year. They made the changes for future years. He says they refused to change the four prior years. All I wanted for them to adjust it, what, what's supposed to be. I mean, I don't see how I'm going to pay for something that is not the right size or buildings that I don't have here. As a result, he has refused to pay his property taxes from 2005 to 2008. Property taxes plus penalty fees have now reached approximately $23,000. Trevino's concerned he may soon lose the property. We spoke to Rolando Garza, chief appraiser of the county. He says refusing to pay your taxes only makes matters worse. Penalty and interest will inc uh, increase and they may forfeit the right to get any correction done in, pre in uh, later years. Garza says instead he recommends Trevino and other people in this situation pay the undisputed amount of taxes while disputing the balance. Garza explains normally due to the tax code he isn't allowed to make adjustments beyond five years prior to the present year. But in this case there may be an exception. In this case we're beyond that. There are some other provisions in the tax code that may allow me to go and look at something along the line of those ten, that 10 years. Garza explains Trevino needs to meet with he and his staff to determine if he is eligible for those provisions. Trevino says he is eager to meet to get this matter resolved. Trevino also tells us he isn't trying to run from his responsibilities. He wants to pay the fair and correct amount. In the studio, Trace and Brack, Channel 5 News at 10.